Straight to the source today, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Hammer, who pulled a bunch of information for us about what the skies could look like on April 8th. This is a map of cloud cover climatology for April 8th, all the April 8ths that we've measured going back like some 40 or 50 years, okay, in El Nino years, which is what we're currently in. Okay. That plays a little bit of a role. What you see here are shades of gray that is 70 to 80% cloud cover on most April 8ths. But where Buffalo is, we're in the 60 to 70% cloud cover zone, meaning the closer to the lake you are, probably the better chance of getting some partial or total clearing. So this is information for Erie, Pennsylvania, but it would yes. be similar to the weather we experience here. We don't have exact cloud cover data saved for Buffalo. OK, so we found a site that's relatively close. Cloudy skies happen 55% of the time. So half the days are totally cloudy. 35% of the days have a broken sky, meaning it will be partly cloudy. We still have a good chance of seeing the eclipse, even though some clouds could roll through. 15% of days are clear. How close to the eclipse do you think you'll have a pretty good idea of whether the skies will be clear or not based on the models you receive and how far out okay. they go? I will say that one of the toughest things to forecast here, it's not always snow and rain, it's cloud cover. Within five days, we'll have a good chance as to whether or not it's going to be a total loss because we see a storm coming. But I think it's going to probably be the day before where we can say with confidence every community that has a certain cloud percentage. I know that doesn't give you a lot of lead time, but that's just honestly how clouds work. So even if it is cloudy that day, you will still be able to see it get darker outside. And Patrick says it's likely that if it isn't sunny here, it will be sunny somewhere else. On your side, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.